It's um, geez, I have to think every morning what day it is. I think it's Wednesday. <laughs> Wednesday's the day. Another nice day. Um, I'm just gonna put on some laundry. I don't know what to do now. So this is a very exciting laundry room. We've got everything ready to go. I haven't got any um, stuff for a front loader, only a top loader, but I just put a little bit in, so hopefully I'll be okay. I managed to find four one dollar coins. If the mum and dad do the laundry in the van, so they wouldn't have to worry about this. Um, smoke cycle. I just want to colours, but the button's broken. That's okay. So 40 minutes, so 740. I'm having some trouble with my camera this week, it's not coming on sometimes. It's the second time it happened to me, it happened to me yesterday as well. So I'm not sure what's going on. Nuckies are having their breakfast. One thing that I've found is good here is um, in the toilet box they've got a family room. They've got like a little kids bath and kids size toilets, which they never had those things when my kids were young. And I guess they had even less when I was young. <laughs> Every generation, it's, you know, things are better and better. A sleepy little caravan. Oh, <laughs> you see how fast the duckies run then? They're so cute. Okay, I've got a clothes hang out. I felt we were leaving Amy and my underwear up, <laughs> so I was taking it down. Let's go clothes and Chrissy's underwear. So that's good, gets all done. I have to tell me whether you would have left your underwear on, the, <laughs> on a public clothesline. So I hung it all out and then I looked at the oh no, I felt, and I even tried to sort of put it in amongst stuff, but it was still it's pretty visible if you're walking past. I'm not sure no one's gonna look or care. But I felt a bit funny. So let me know if you have left your underwear out there or not. So I'm leaving Chrissy to have a breakfast and get herself to yoga in half an hour. I'm not sure she can do it. Well then she look cute, turn around move. That'd be cute today. <laughs> Another haircut. So I am going off by now. Walk, and we're going to walk the other headland today. I think it might be a bit tougher because you've got to go down the beach and then walk up from the beach. There's lots of stairs. Let's hope we don't see any snakes today. Right, there you go. Oh, another falling tree. Oh, another falling tree. Yes, but I didn't photograph the falling tree. No. All right, bye, now. Off we go. This is something about flowers near the beach. I love it. So pretty. Okay, there's stairs there for the destination. I think I'm being exhausted by the time I'm just coming those stairs. Are you sick of this beach yet? I don't think I could ever get sick of it. Yeah, anyway, I don't like walking on the sand in my jogger, so I <laughs> feel like sand. I wonder for the coastal walk if you're supposed to walk across the beach. Probably. Because the beach is actually a public beach. Not. Ah yes, these are going to be a killer. <laughs> I'm not that fit at the moment. But anyway. Alrighty, let's go. These are shimmering snakes here. I watched the lady the other day run up and down these stairs. Not be so bad. They're quite steep though. Wouldn't like to run up and down them. But that's scary cat me. Oh, okay. Feeling it in the quads now. Huh. Good lizard. <laughs> I've never been up here. Not that I can remember. The water looks beautiful, though, doesn't it? Gorgeous. Wow. It makes me want to go for a swim. It's so weird that I've never been here, mind you. I know that you couldn't used to walk up here. But the last time, I wouldn't make time before you could. Obviously, I wasn't physically up to it or physically inclined. Puppy. 
Wouldn't that just be an amazing view to wake up to in the morning? And over that way you've got the hills in the distance there. Oh, I could get used to that. I certainly would pack on me the instant if I have a water view. When getting done around the house, mind you, we should be looking out all the time. Like well, it's beautiful today. I can imagine a big storm too. Just snuggle it up inside. It'd be awesome. I know when we sat over those rocks and then the big um big um waves. It was pretty awesome to watch. Look at the flowers up here. Beautiful. Big fir trees. here and I find this is really hard on my feet. Quite like this is the right but once my foot's twisted I find that hard going. What a what a view. I wonder how you go with the dogs here because it says you can take the dogs on the walk but dogs aren't allowed in this beach and I wouldn't think you could have dogs on the beach. Um, I haven't seen any going across. But if you take them on the walk, you kind of have to. I'd like to take, if I was going to come and do this walk, I'd love to take the dogs. They would love it. So I can't get over how clear the water looks down there. Like along here, it looks really clear. And I know it's not, I'm sure it's not shallow, but it's so, it's so clear. Look at that. Can you tell just a little bit that I love it here? Oh, that's right. There's a no dog sign. So how do you take your dogs on the walk? Are there sections you can do? Huh, I'm glad I found it out. When you hate to get all around here and find no dogs. Hmm. Love this song. 
Anyway, I've just, <laughs> I've just put into the main street. That was um, tub thumping, chumba wumba. Um, I wanted to go to the organic shop, but I wasn't sure where it was. But I can see the sign right there. Heart and Soul Organic. So obviously it's in there, so I might go in. I've been once before. Um, I might go in and see what they've got. And then Glorious, <laughs> which is not organic. <laughs> it's just down the road, which is why it just stopped here in the first place. And there's also a chocolate shop there, but I don't think I'll go in there. We might go have a sticky peek. We'll see. So we've got a Pilates studio in Kuyama. That's a very different place. So this is the organic shop. Let's see what we can buy. This is the main street, a nice park area over there. Okay, let's get Lots of shops. I really like this shop, they've got nice things. I'm not sure I took you in there before once or not. We should always visit it the last time we're in here. We have a lot of nice, nice things. I won't go shopping today though. Just go to Gloria's. This cute shop. There's lovely tins over here. I can't see them. these things. Let's look at this. That other mug I like was twenty dollars. So I'm not buying it. But so cute. Hippie socks. Very cute things. Nice hats too. I love the socks. Back here again, Sam Village to get Baker's Delight and Ducky and Dorworth. Um, I don't know if I want to show you anything this time. I was in Ducky and get a few things because I bought some frozen stuff at the organic shop too, so I need to get in the freezer. Look what I found. Oh my god, I was not saw that. It didn't last time I was there anyway. Told you it wasn't fair. I don't look at the peas as well. Kevin would love that. Maybe we should buy him one. Might. Yes, we should treat for him. This is nice too. More new things. I have a little chip any tubes. Okay, so do a quick little grocery haul for you. Um, since I didn't do one for in the September, so you got a bit the other day and I'll show you a bit more. So this is in the organic shop, it's Heart and Soul, so I've got some black beans. We like the organic black beans and you're going to get them from organic shops. And I'm pretty sure, these are the chips I had before I'm really light and haven't had to buy for ages. Pretty sure they're the ones. So I just grabbed a couple of apples for Christy, some tomatoes, and I was very, very excited to yeah. find these because these are the, the wipes that I really like. And I was about to order some more online, and now I don't have to. Because they sold them there. And then the lady recommended <laughs> these frozen things that you just um, heat this pouch. She said they're really good. So, was he very natural? So, I thought, well, I'll get one of them to try. They go in the freezer. And they had a range. So, well, it's Indian, medium, that might be more for Kevin and Amy than <laughs> me. They're not cheap $14, but I guess it's, if you're going to set a takeaway, it's not too bad. Okay, and we besides a bit of chocolate and biscuits, which you really don't need to see, <laughs> this is the rest of the stuff we got. So I've got some corn chips, some um, to make nachos again, because we enjoyed that the other day, and I've still got, well, I have I got enough leftover stuff. Well, I've got black beans now anyway, so I can make up some nachos. Another watermelon. I was excited to see these, because we don't have these in our supermarket. And we're still on the lookout for a nice falafel, so I might put them in a salad today, see how they are. And I've got those 
try. Amy likes the sausages in this brand of stuff. So I've got some grated cheese, uh, maybe mix of salad, and then I can always show you. I was very excited to see kale in a bag. Um, that was very exciting. So I got some milk. I thought I'd try this one. Milk's always a problem. I never know which milk to get. Um, but in case we didn't, I don't know, in case we didn't like it, we've got a normal one as well. We didn't have a two litre. I got this for Kevin because that is like his favourite thing in the world is like baked camembert. So that's bread with camembert, which is pretty good, better for him with cranberry sauce. So I bought him them. The date is the 14th of October. So we'll take them home for him because I've never seen them before. I don't think our Woolworths is obviously nowhere near as um, current as the one down here. The one down here is a lot smaller, so that's a bit strange. But anyway, got some pasta salad for our son today. And then a few, I showed you the two salads that I picked up. I just got a half and half mix. So that's the cranberry couscous and that was the risoni one. So I'm looking forward to trying them. Some cheese slices, another butter because we ran out. We had to buy <laughs> those horrible margarine here yesterday. Because uh, I had for Christy's toast. And I bought some mashed potatoes for Christy for dinner tonight. Um, yeah, I think Amy and I are going to have some leftover stuff tonight. Yeah, so that was some really exciting things there. Well, I was excited. Amy, not so much. Okay, so my salad for today. I tell you, I am glad to sit down. It's 12.30 and well, I've been on the go since nine, quarter past nine I went for my walk and <laughs> my feet are feeling it. I'm tired. I'm not supposed to be tired holidays. Anyway, here's my lunch. Read a bit and then I think about two o'clock we might head down to the beach. My back's really sore though. My little ducky friends come back and I threw out some bread for it. I know bread's not pretty, really good for them but I'm sure they've fed lots of bread. <laughs> We put out toast, I didn't like the toast, obviously too hard for it. And you said it's named Penny. It's named Penny, I named it Penny. She's very pretty. With an I E. She's a very pretty girl. <laughs> it's okay. But too close, too close for comfort, Penny. She's pretty. <laughs> She's smaller pieces, I guess, for her. <laughs> but she thinks you manage quite fine. Hmm, <laughs> too pretty. You can order all the stuff to yourself. Oh, <laughs> you flicked it away. I've got more. It's okay. You're pretty. You hear noises? We have no idea where it's a boy or a girl, really. This is quite tame. Maybe not tame. It's under your feet. It's on your foot. It's on your foot. Oh, have you had enough, have you? Oh yeah, turn your back on me, that's a bit rude. Oh, she must have had enough. She's all filled up, she's off. I'm just going to have a bit of bread. Oh. <laughs> she sends them flying. What'd she do? She sends them flying, she shakes them to break them up and sends them flying. She's so cute. Oh, this one's a pretty one, that's a different one. I don't know if it's a duck or not. I guess it's a duck. It's got the bits of paper to throw away. It's pretty cozy. I was like sort of just carrying it while I was just thinking about this time. Wait, it's kind of looks like a duck. You're pretty. It looks very young. Okay, little fella. Oh. Okay. Oh, you're pretty. The little ducks decide to have an afternoon rest. And Christy said, well, you come out and you'll scare him. I'm video videoing him and you can see it. But he squatted right down. He must be going to his little afternoon snooze there. How funny. What a funny little duck. So, well, Mummy was just sitting outside and all the duckies came over. Yeah. Our little ducky friend has come back and <laughs> laying down.
you're squealing and dancing and carrying on. random word talking to myself in the same way about it. <laughs> oh, I love it on there. She's still a young girl, not in a hurry to grow up, which is nice. tonight with a freshly cleansed face, <laughs> freshly moisturized face. I had to make a dash out to the chemist to get some um, uh, Urax cream for Christy, which is just a cream for itches. That's one I find works the best. Yeah, I think she got some sand fly bites today. Um, yeah, so it's just me. She's gone off to the movies and Amy's having a bit of a tween Sorry, a bit of a teen moment, and she's gone to bed um, at seven o'clock. She hasn't even had any dinner, so just having one of those, one of those afternoons and evenings. Anyway, so I'm. It's probably got the internet, but it's still working. So I'm editing another video, but the one I've uploaded today is not working. I've had no internet, good internet since this morning. I don't think, so I don't know what's going on. Um. This is the one featuring the red belly black snake that you might have seen on Instagram. <laughs> and I put a warning in a warning in for Kathleen, who said she snakes freak her out. So there's a warning. So she can jump forward a bit and not watch the snake. <laughs> I was impressed that I caught it on camera. Anyway, I'll leave you to, to watch that one in the, whenever I get it up. And I'm just having some leftover. Well, look at the colour <laughs> the video lighting. It's not very good at night time here. But just having some leftover pasta from the other night. And then if I if I can fit it in, which I doubt, I've got a nice chair and fruit roll I might have later on. Christy was doing some drawing. Drawing Uno cards. That's what you do when you get really bored. <laughs> and it's just good today because she had a good time at the beach and she'd been, I set her out for a while. Because Amy's spent so much time in the van. Christy started being here watching videos and so I was like, go out and do stuff, make friends. And every time she makes a friend they leave. <laughs> so, She's not much like on the friend department. Often as you make a friend they can have days together. But anyway, can't do much about that. Oh, itchy nose. Um, but she went to Jummy Pillow for a while and had a good time this afternoon. That was before we went to the beach. Um, yeah. So that's it for today. I will actually sign off today. Usually I forget to sign off. <laughs> so um, tomorrow's our last full day. I think it's probably, I think Amy's had enough. Um, I didn't originally didn't think Amy would even want to come camping, but she did, particularly when Harry could come for the couple of days, so, um, yeah, so, it's been a bit up and down, it's, um, been mostly good though, I've, ha I've enjoyed it, um, and she seems just, she says she's happy, she's, um, been reading a fan fiction, doing a bit of writing and stuff, so she said she's enjoyed it, she's just knocking out and doing much, but anyway, teens, species of their own, um, so yeah, tomorrow's the last full day, and then Dad will be down. I'm not sure what time on Friday because Mum's actually going for her, her um to see the lung specialist. She had the, the PET scan for her lung. When was that? Last week. Yeah, the day up in Sydney. So Wednesday last week, and she's supposed to go on Monday, but the, the doctor was sick, <laughs> and had to cancel his appointments for the whole day. So uh, she's going tomorrow, Thursday, for that. Get the results of that. Um. The only word we've had so far, when with the preliminary discussion with him, was I think there's quite a bit of cancer there, quite a few tumours. Um, 
and obviously chemo and radiation don't work and it doesn't sound like they can be removed because there's multiple ones and lesions, they talk about lesions and stuff um, and lymph nodes so it doesn't sound good but he, they did say there's a new treatment so still at the moment all we've got is um, hope I guess and positive um, feedback it's not all do it's not doom and gloom anyway but yeah I mean yeah I mean I'm not a negative person so I, I have been thinking about it a bit more um, but at the moment we don't have any bad news still so, I, mean, I guess that's not, not particularly good news but th there's more than what they hoped there might have been but there's still there's a treatment so that's a new treatment apparently so we will know more tomorrow about that and then um, dad will come down on Friday morning and pack up the van I think we're going to be out here by 10 so we'll be home 10.30 <laughs> and then have obviously time to unpack and um, get settled back in at home so that'll be good and then we've got a long weekend so we've got three days I've got to take Amy to a a metal core concert on Sunday night, so that's going to be an experience. Anyway, I'm going to have my dinner now. So I'm going to go away and chat with you. Okay, hope everyone's having a really good week, especially anyone in Australia who's on might be on holidays. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.